I think I've decided to dye my hair black. I'm scared because I know that once I do, there's no way back. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deasia, and in today's video, I'm gonna be dyeing my hair back to black. I'm literally, I'm literally scared. No, this is not my hair. This is obviously just a wig. I'm actually gonna take off, but I think I've decided to dye my hair back to black. I literally love my ginger hair. It's like this really cute ginger color and I honestly love it. I loved every minute of being ginger but I feel like I'm ready to start doing braids again. I'm ready to just like, you know, have black hair. The black hair, the black, there's something about black hair that's just calling me. But I'm scared because my ginger hair is fire. Anyway, I am wearing a headband because I needed to like either fix the lace or just take it off and wash it. But I decided I kind of miss my natural hair. I kind of want to go back to my natural hair. So I want to dye it. I want to dye it black because black it has just been called my name. And you know, I really had the impulsive urge. So I currently have like Wella hair dye. I had the urge to dye it back to black the second time I colored it, which came out as like a reddish and then it kind of faded to like this cute ginger color. And then I wanted to go back to black because I went through this phase of just wanting to wear braids, ponytails, Chinese styles that I've never tried before without having to worry about the color not matching. Because one thing about me, if I'm wearing braids or doing a ponytail or whatever and the color doesn't match, I'm not going to be satisfied. But I want to do that, which is why I want to go back to black. So I think it's time. I have a very dark brown, but I think I want to go jet black. I don't even think I want to do very dark brown. So I might just keep these and then see if I can mix it. But I just want to jet black. I just went to the store, get some hair dyes. I know I need gloves. Let me actually make a list on my phone. I need black hair dye. I need gloves. But I also have the bowl and I have this little brush. And I also have volume 20 developer, which I think should be enough because like I'm dying to a darker color. It doesn't make sense for me to return them because I literally can't. So, I don't know if I should just go and buy three black hair dyes or buy like one or two and then just mix it. I'll see what the person at the store says. So I need to get some black hair dye. I need to get some gloves. And I also want to run to the mall. I feel like I'm always going to the mall. So, on the agenda for today, the first thing I'm going to do is run to the store so that I can dye my hair. Then I'm going to take off my wig, show you guys my natural hair, and then dye my hair oh my gosh i didn't tell anyone that i was doing this except for like my sister like my friend but that's it like two people know not even the rest of my sisters know anyway so then i'm gonna come back and dye my hair i don't know how long the process of dyeing my hair is gonna take because i know that i'm gonna want to style my hair too i think i should just do a wash and go because i also want to cut my hair so yeah i'm gonna dye my hair and then do a quick wash and go. So since I'm doing a wash and go, I need to get more products from the Beauty Supply. So I'm gonna get a leave-in conditioner, I'm gonna get an oil, and I'm probably gonna get a curling jelly. I know that when you dye your hair black, you literally can't go back to any other color because the black is just going to like set in on the hair. And I had the urge to dye my hair black sometime like spring of 2022. I was just about ready to dye it and I was like, you know what? Let me at least do ginger one more time. So I did ginger and I literally loved it. It was so cute. It was literally a moment. But now I just feel like it's time for ginger to go and I need to go back to black because the idea was just to like dye my hair for fun, you know, don't damage it because of course one day we're going to go back to black. And I think that day is today because I just want to try more styles now and black just makes that so much easier because if I'm adding hair like I don't want to be a ginger and then add ginger hair as a ponytail and the color doesn't match but the ginger was so freaking cute like I'm gonna miss her she knew what she was doing I'm gonna miss her it's time to drastically change my appearance I feel like I did drastically change my appearance though but again it's time for that second step up. This has been calling me for some time and the time has come. I've been trying to practice keeping my hair in protective styles and just not touching it. Obviously, I moisturize it and oil my scalp and everything every time I lay the wig. But I've been trying not to wash it for like a month because before I was washing my hair like once a week and then I turned it into once every two weeks. But the girlies are saying that, you know, minimal manipulation is what's best for your hair. So I tried it for a month. Let's actually see. Even when I dive back to black, I'm probably still just going to be doing more protective styles. So what I'm going to do is get ready for a little outing. So I'm going to go change and I'll be right back. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high. Hands up high. Hands up high. It snowed so much in the past 
couple of days. It's so pretty. I've actually been waiting for the winter, low key. I at least wanted to see some snow. But now that it's here, I'm like, mm, this is kind of inconveniencing. I'm on my hair, guys. I don't know if they have jet black, though. This is all they have. I made it to Sally Beauty. I'm about to go see if they have the jet black hair. <laughs> Hopefully they do. She said I should just get about two packs. Oh, baby. The very dark brown. This is the one I got. I don't know if you can see the difference, but I want to get this. Oh, oh, and that's well up. Okay guys, I just made it home. I picked up everything that I needed to dye my hair. I'm getting a little excited and nervous. Let me just show you guys everything I got. So I ended up going to both the Beauty Supply and Sally Beauty. I already had my 20 volume developer and my bowl and brush. But at the store, she ended up telling me to get the jet black because I want it to be jet black. I don't want it to be dark brown. And I actually got the darkest color. There was a black and then there was a jet black that I didn't see. She pointed this out to me. So now it should actually take as hopefully jet black. I got the gloves that I needed. I just got one pack. Now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have got two. But she ended up talking me into getting this like deep conditioner. It's like a deep mask because every time you dye your hair, it gets extremely dry. And when she had blonde hair, she was actually using this. And she said it was really good for like when your hair's dry. And my hair's definitely gonna be dry, even though I am like dying it to a darker color. And then I got this little stain remover for the dye in case like I get on like my face or something. I also got my As I Am Leave-In Conditioner because I think I'm gonna just do a wash and go because I wanna actually cut my hair. I think I'm gonna end up cutting it in the wash and go. And then I also got curling jelly so that my hair can be cute and curly. So I actually don't need these two. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but like that's not an issue for right now. So I'm going to go and take off this wig and just like take out the cane rolls that I currently have and detangle it. And then I'm going to start with dyeing my hair. I just finished taking out all my cane rolls and I changed my top too because I'm dyeing it black. So I'm just wearing a black top. I'm so scared. Like I haven't seen my hair in over a month because I've just been wearing wigs. I, did, I didn't even wash it because I've been trying to like train my hair to go a while without it. My hair still feels so moisturized, which is good because it's winter. And I didn't want it to like be exposed. I'm having second thoughts now. I might have some hair products in my hair, like a little bit of gel or like edge control, probably beeswax. So I'm actually gonna rinse out my hair first and then I'm going to detangle it. By the time I detangle it, it's gonna be like basically dry-ish. So that's what I'm gonna put in the hair dye. I just finished detangling my hair. I rinsed out any product that was in it. I think it's one part dye, two parts developer, but let me just read the instructions. I'm guessing it's one part, one part dye, one part developer. Okay, so what I'm gonna do to measure it is I'm just gonna put the dye in this until it's like full and just do it like a one-to-one -one ratio with this so that I know how much I'm putting in. I'm obviously going to throw this out after. So I'm going to put some Vaseline around my forehead so that the dye doesn't like stain. Okay, so I'm going to start with the dye. I'm nervous. I was told that two packs should be enough for my hair and hopefully like I don't need to use a third. I can just return it. I have a lot of hair. When I was dyeing it to ginger, I literally needed six packs but i think i'm just going to start with like the ginger part i'm going to leave the roots to last because i know the roots develop a lot faster and i'm just going to mix see if i can show you guys it literally looks like i'm trying to go to blonde i think i've mixed it well enough to like begin dyeing my hair the dye is literally starting to change colors so it's looking like Am I ready to commit to this? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Am I gonna do this? 
yeah I have to come in right here I am so okay you know what I need to just do it I can already see it getting a little bit brown there can you guys see it already changing Oh my gosh, the back of my hair. You know what? I'm gonna try not to even look at it because I know this is gonna be... This is already looking drastic to me. Oh my gosh. It doesn't even need the clip, it's just staying, but let me just put the clip. I was told that I don't need a, a cap, so I'm gonna set a timer for 30 minutes because it's supposed to sit for 30 minutes. It's currently 8.35, so I'm gonna check back in on it in 30 minutes. I'm probably gonna leave it longer than 30 minutes because I really want it to like, I want it to be black. I want it to show that my hair is black. And I want the dye to take, I don't want to rinse out too early even though they say 30 minutes, but I'll be back in 30 minutes and then I might leave it for some more time. So it's been about 50 minutes because I decided to go eat and I literally just finished eating but my hair should have had like more than enough time to like take the color so I'm about to rinse it out now. I don't know if I just rinse this out with just water or shampoo. I think I'm going to just shampoo it too. Maybe not overly shampoo it, but the last time that I dyed my hair, I'm pretty sure I shampooed it out. So I'm just gonna shampoo my hair and then condition it and probably deep condition it with that new deep conditioner that I got. I actually love that this tub is so huge so I can like really saturate my hair. And it smells good too. Ooh, I'm about to hop in the shower and rinse it out and I'll see you guys when I'm done. So I just hopped out of the shower. I shampooed my hair a little bit i conditioned it and then i deep conditioned it with heat so i'm hoping that moisture really locks in i decided i'm not going to do my wash and go tonight i don't want to go to bed with wet hair i'm actually just going to put some leave-in conditioner in it and then just separate basically just the parts that i want for my wash and go and then just have it dry and cut tomorrow but i don't even know what it looks like i'm a little bit nervous i tried to avoid looking in the mirror and i know i'm not supposed to use a towel to dry my hair but i didn't want to risk Staining anything else. Oh my gosh, it is so black. It is so black. Oh my gosh. And my hair has grown a lot. I want to shape it tomorrow, especially like my bangs. Like they're covering my eyes. You literally can't see my eyes. But it is so dark. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. It's kind of cute though, the longer I look at it. Okay. Let me section it into parts so that I can just wake up tomorrow and just do a wash and go. So it's the next day. I literally just woke up and finished my skincare routine. I'm about to pick up where I left off with my hair. It's looking really, really black. Like I'm not gonna give you guys a tutorial on how to do a wash and go. If you would like to see a tutorial, then I'll link it up here in one of my videos where I did a wash and go with my ginger hair, but now my hair is black. I literally had a dream and I woke up thinking like, bro, did I make the wrong decision? Like, what if I shouldn't have had my hair black? Well, honestly, now that it's black, I literally just have to commit to it. And my hair is still extremely moisturized. Like, it's extremely moisturized. I wasn't expecting it to feel like this, but... I'm just going to take my As I Am Curling Jelly and my Extreme Wetline Gel. So I'm going to speed through this step. Then I'll check back in with you guys once I have finished my wash and go. And then I'm probably going to show you guys when it dries too.
can tell that my curl pattern got looser like it got looser so i'm starting to think that maybe i i dyed it at the right time because i really wanted to avoid damaging it and now i'm actually just gonna go in with my diffuser i'm gonna diffuse my hair so that it gets bigger and then it starts to dry i'm really shocked at how this came out i don't know what i was expecting i'm starting to see what people mean when they say jet black there's something about jet black that just Hmm, let, let me see, let me see where this goes. So I just finished diffusing my hair, clip up my bangs because they are like, they have grown. I don't even know how I would clip them up because maybe I should just, I'm gonna just clip them to the side or maybe just brush it to the side like this. I don't know. I'm not used to it being this long. It's probably how I'm just gonna let my hair dry for a bit. I'm probably just move it around if it gets to a point where I can't clip it up and I'm probably gonna clip it up. But I'm gonna let this dry for like an hour or two or come back when it's dry so that I can begin cutting it. I'm excited to see what it looks like. I don't know what I was expecting but this is not what I was expecting. I think even the length of it like how much it's grown is also confusing me a bit. I think I like it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what to think or say honestly because like I'm so used to the ginger. I'm really just gonna have to see how this goes. I can't tell if I like it or not. I don't dislike it. I know that. But I feel like it's gonna grow on me really quickly. I'm just not used to looking at myself with black natural hair. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna come back when it's dry so that I can begin cutting or shaping it I should say. And yeah I'll see you guys soon. So it's actually the next day. I feel like I look so different. My hair is completely dry and as you can see it's literally just like long and just I feel like it has no shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my hair out of the gel cast. If you don't know what a gel cast is it's when your hair is kind of like crunchy there's no bounce. That's basically what the gel cast is. So I'm gonna use some oil. I like to use grapeseed oil. I put a little bit of castor oil in here and I'm just going to use this while pulling my hair. So I'm gonna put some in my hand, rub it together and just use this to pull on my hair because this is how I like to break my gel cast. Honestly, I don't know how I'm feeling about the black. Like, it's definitely cute, definitely giving. It's only been, what, a day? I think it still needs to grow on me, but I low-key miss, like, when my hair is colored. Like, I feel like it just makes me feel really vibrant and look really vibrant. I literally feel like I changed my whole appearance, which I basically did. And I've noticed that my curls are definitely not as tight. So I feel like I did this at the right time. The plan was always to go back to black before I actually damaged my hair. And now after that I see I went back to black and my curls aren't even like as there anymore. I think I just did this at the right time, honestly. I knew that if I were to dye my hair ginger again, it would definitely lift to a more ginger color. But it could also potentially damage my hair. That's not what I was going for. Yeah, see, even out of this gel cast, it's definitely not as big as it used to be. I'm actually going to call my sister to come cut my hair because I don't trust myself when it comes to cutting my hair or shaping my hair because it's not something I've ever done before. But I want to shape my hair. I want to cut bangs. I think I even want to cut more bangs because I want the front to just look like there's more just hair. So do you want me to do a wolf cut again? I was thinking wolf cut again. Mm -hmm. You look here. You can even cut a bit more, like above your fingers. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's fine. Sure? Yeah. Okay. Just those strands. I was like, yeah. An inch or two more shape. But it's like the sides. Like, I want the sides to have shape too. I want it to look like a tree and my veins. So, do what you feel. Should be done next. See how there's like these dead ends? Mm -hmm. I want those gone too. Mm 
Okay. Your current things are here. Do you want them the same length? No, I'm too short. My current bangs are too long. Here? Yeah, let's go like that. Shorter, I mean longer. <laughs> longer. Yeah, it's nice. Oh my gosh, that's scary. So long. You have to literally like cut pieces. These, like, like this has to be. Like you see here? Yeah, it looks like it's like falling different. So what'd you do? Pull it out? You pulled it out like Honestly, this? Honestly, I just held it and cut it. Is it still noticeable? I feel like my ginger hair was like screaming every single time I walked into a room. Yeah, That's what I'm going for. Hair. All the time. I like when my bangs sit above my eyes, but below my eyebrows. This one? <laughs> oh, this one. Yeah. Yes, grazie. Bye. Bye. This chapter. Do you guys see a difference? Because I do. What do you think? It's definitely giving shape. I'm happy with it. However, I think I'm probably gonna have to just keep like snipping it for like a few days because I find that when I wear wash and goes, especially after I cut it, there's pieces that kind of find new homes. This is basically all the hair that I cut off, minus the pieces that are on the ground, but I cut like inches off my hair. Oh my gosh, but it it's so worth it. And I know that the next time I wash it, it's gonna feel healthier too. Before I was ginger, now I'm back to black. The black is growing on me. It is quickly. But you know, she's cute. She's cute. The cut is cute. The hair is big. I like my hair really big, especially like this. I don't know if I like it more than the ginger yet, but I know it's definitely a lot more versatile, so I'm happy. But the black, she eats. She eats. She eats. So, you guys, I'm not a hairstylist. Don't even follow this video if you're gonna cut your hair. Literally, don't follow this video. Everything we just did, that's because we be cutting each other's hair. Don't follow this video if you're trying to cut your hair because this is not a tutorial. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below. You can comment down below any questions you have as well. I'll be happy to answer them. Subscribe to my channel. Follow my Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok all at that girl. I'll link them all down below. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.